Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us again uh, in our weekly uh, Kitson Migration Advisory Facebook Live Forum. Um, today, for, since the last two months, our focus is always on migration, migration, and also migration. Today, we'll leave all these things behind. We just talk about lifestyle, how to appreciate a good glass of Australian wine. So, we are glad today we have... Um, premium winemaker from Australia to join us today to share with us uh, what make a premium wine, how to define a premium wine, and how, what is a good Australian wine. With us today, we have Malcolm, Director of Leaks Agriculture Group, winemaker for Hitler and Yon Wines. And uh, with him, a nice sweet lady, uh, Yenny, uh, is the uh, their brand manager for Asia Market. She will be doing the presentation in Mandarin while, uh, uh, while Malcolm will be doing it in English. So, uh, hi guys. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, Hello everyone. Hi everyone. Okay. Um, as you're aware, uh, we are a migration consultant based in Malaysia. We have our office in South Australia and also in uh, Queensland and also in Indonesia and Brunei. Uh, we have been doing this Facebook Live Forum for two months and a bit more, and uh, the entire two months, our entire focus is on mostly on migration business, and I find it a bit stressful. So today, we just want to leave all the business and all the stress behind, and I'll pass the floor to you to teach us, or to teach me, uh, what makes a premium wine. Please, Malcolm, Yen. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank thanks. you, Jimmy, and thanks everyone for listening in and joining, and we'll certainly try and make it uh, more relaxed and uh, fun uh, this afternoon. It's a nice Saturday afternoon here in beautiful Adelaide. And uh, really nice to be speaking to you about who we are and uh, what we do, but most importantly, why we do it and the joy and passion that we get from it as well. And just try and give you a little bit of slice of life here from yeah. uh, South Australia. Mm. 今天很高兴呢，做客Kitson，然后和大家做一场分享交流会，然后主要呢也是想跟大家展示一下，在这边南澳大利亚的生活怎么样，然后也希望你们到这边走走。And our aim today is really to pose a question about what is premium wine, because there's so many layers in that, and to try and answer that from our perspective, and then hopefully. Get some feedback from you about uh, if that's something that you think fits your perception of premium wine. 嗯，其实今天就想跟大家呃简单的聊一下呃什么是一个澳大利亚比较精品高端的酒庄，它需要一些什么重要的具备元素，然后怎么去鉴别和判定。然后我们现在先请苗孔先生给大家做一个简单的
呃 m a l c o n 先生呢，目前是李斯克农业集团的总监。然后，这个李斯克农业集团事实上是在一九七八年就成立的了。那是由现在两任总监，就是 m a l c o n 先生和 Richard 先生两兄弟的父亲创立的。他们现在子承父业了，然后他们两个现在在经营整个集团的管理。然后呢，李斯克其实是他们家族的一个姓氏，这个家族他是从苏格兰来的。然后，所以是他们是很多代以前就从苏格兰搬迁到了澳大利亚，然后在这边驻足，然后一直生活下去。嗯，然后现在呢，这个集团呢主要是在麦克拉伦谷，但是贸易范围呢，它也涵盖了一些阿德莱德山，还有这个呃弗勒里尔半岛，还有 Corona Corona 产区，对。Okay, so there's、uh, three、uh, main parts to our family business.、Mm. Uh, the the umbrella company is called Lease Agri, and what Lease Agri does is essentially manage land. So we grow grapes,、uh, we practice、uh, really healthy regenerative agriculture, we manage. Uh, land and vineyards for our clients,、mm -hmm. and uh, we also uh, produce off that land products like wine and and also meat product.、Mm -hmm. 这个李李斯克农业集团呢，其实它包含的非常广的一个农业范围。它它呢一开始成立，它是作为一个葡萄的种植者，然后一直种植非常精致、健康，然后非常高。高质量的果实。然后目前呢，这个李斯克农业集团旗下有三个品牌，一个是呃 Hill and Young 曼山酒庄，然后还有就是 Old Jarvey 奥爵酒庄，以及还有这个 Valmico 是今年二零二零年刚成立的，做很高端的黑安格斯牛肉的呃公司。So when we first started in 1978, we've principally just been a farming family.、嗯 And then,、uh, when my brother and I took over the business, we've started、um, into value-added product and premium consulting. So, Hither and Yon started in 2012.、Mm. Old Jarvey, our second wine brand, in 2016, and this year we're going to launch Vale Meat Co. in 2020. 对，其实就是一开始作为葡萄种植者，但是慢慢的 ，Malcolm 和 Richard 想做一些更有价值的事情，所以又成立了这三个品牌。所以 Hill and Young 呢，它是二零一二年成立的，接下来四年呢，它又成立了 Old Jarvey 酒庄，就是二零一六年成立的，然后今年又成立了 Valmico。嗯。So now to the、uh, fun part, talking about wine, and、uh, for us, we've tried to keep this really Simple. What makes a premium wine producer? And from Yan and my perspective, there's three main parts to that. The first is origins.、Uh, the second is elements, and the third is tactics. So origins is the big picture,、uh, the land, if you like. Elements are parts that we have to play in that, in terms of、uh, very hand. Uh, crafted style, and then tactics is more about、uh, business and placement. Hmm. Actually, why do we do this? Because, uh, Australia has too many wineries, and different brands are very competitive in the market. Actually, doing this event is to hope to give you a very clear idea of how to distinguish the high-end wine. Producer. 那么今天我们从三个方面来讲，一个就是我们品牌是从哪里来的，然后一个产区的面貌，然后其次呢是品牌的，呃呃，我们给它的一些品牌调性，可以这么说，然后再谈一下商业还有这个市场的一些背书，然后通过这三点呢，你们其实就很明显的在将来就可以判别这个酒庄是好还是不好，嗯。So, firstly, to the origins part, and really, this is the defining part for us because region,、uh, where we farm, and from a wine perspective, where we grow our grapes,、mm -hmm. has the most significant influence on、uh, what we make and also the premium nature of it. So,、uh, this is a little photo of part of our region. We're on. 
um, the Flurio Peninsula in South Australia. Mm. And um, that uh, uh, has a coastline all the way around it. Um, uh, it's quite rugged and dramatic in parts, um, but there's also a lovely uh, part there, uh, which is McLaren Vale, uh, which is one of uh, Australia's best known wine regions. 嗯，其实产区它非常重要，因为一个好的品牌，它一定是来自一个很好的产区，就像有来自一个很好的一个家族一样。然后呢，我们是从弗勒里尔半岛来的，这边是靠海的一个产区，它是叫麦克拉伦谷。呃，一会儿呢会给大家更多的一些照片的介绍。So now that we're in McLaren Vale, the most important thing we really do is each day we wake up and on our mind is how we look after our land, um, our region and our microenvironment in the most healthy way. Mm. And there's three parts to that for us. Uh, one is that McLaren Vale is um, the first region in Australia to be a certified sustainable wine growing region. Mm. From our family perspective, we are first and experts in regenerative farming. And uh, lastly, um, particularly relevant now is that more and more we're focusing on uh, what we're putting into our land and not taking out. And uh, we've got a really exciting carbon neutral uh, project uh, just starting now. Mm, just 好的葡萄酒，它一定是来自健康的果实。那么，那个健康的果实一定是栽种在自然环境非常健康的地方。所以，环境对于嗯葡萄酒和品牌来说是非常重要的。每天 ，Malcolm 都很在乎怎么把他的土地管理的更好，能够一个更好的状态交给他的下一代。然后，所以呢，在麦克拉伦谷这个产区，它是在澳大利亚第一个。被认证为可持续发展的一个产区，并且在 Malcolm 的家族，因为他们世代的从事农耕，应该算是在整个南澳大利亚以及在澳大利亚呃整个澳大利亚来说是非常领先的先驱。这一方面重做这个再生农业呃的发展，然后以及我们现在又在进一步去去做一些呃跟环境更健康关于碳的一些探讨的一些。Uh, 话题，还有项目的，嗯。So once we have a region and a beautiful environment uh, that we're looking after, the two most important uh, parts of that are, in fact, the soil. So uh, as much about um, how we look after our soil and make it better and more. Um, healthy uh, for the next generation of family coming through, and from a people perspective too, we have a very organic uh, way of um, uh, having our team and our staff and also our partners involved in what we do, so they feel really healthy and feel really good about uh, the way that we're managing our environment as well. Mm. 其实，嗯，就是 Malcolm 在这里列了两个词，一个是 soil 土壤，然后另外一个就是人，一个团队，还有他更多的是想说他非常用心。这两个词呢，很难在很短的时间给大家介绍，要长久的去体会，然后也要走到这片土地上，你可能才能深刻的感受这两个词汇的意义。然后就是还是说，我们对土壤。的健康非常的关注，同时呢，做任何事情都是用心用手，嗯，亲自去管理的。嗯。So once we've,、uh, I guess, established our philosophy and our care factor for what we do each day,、um, the next part for us is actually turning what we grow into. Something that、um, has a style that reflects、uh, what we're doing,、mm -hmm. and in that aspect, you know, we, we're really focused on being a real maker. So we want the elements of the natural environment, how the fruit tastes in the vineyard,、mm -hmm. uh, to come through into that bottle of wine, so you can 
really taste the freshness mm. and for us taste where it comes from. Mm. So from a winemaking uh, perspective, everything we do is very um, hands on mm. uh, and it's very gentle. And uh, we're really wanting to um, bring forward beautiful, fresh, bright fruit mm. and a modern style for Australian wine and also uh, bringing in the beautiful Mediterranean climate and lifestyle of McLaren Vale as well. Actually,我们酿出每一款酒,像我经常跟酿酒师苗控聊天 所有的果实都是熟采 so what we've done so far is we've pretty much showed you origins yeah. and then taken that through from a grower into a maker uh, perspective. So um, once uh, the wine is in bottled, is a, now a product, uh, that brings in another aspect of premium uh, for us, which is how to be different and how to bring your own uh, personality and style through so it's very uh, attractive uh, for the person um, touching and mm. feeling and drinking the wine mm. so we we call that flair mm. and um, from my perspective from growing and making the wine that is uh, about new varieties um, being aware of uh, consumer trend and and drinking habits and style and from a packaging perspective we really want the branding to stand out and be different and um, certainly from a uh, person who's sharing the wine with their family and friends they we want them to feel special about uh, what it is that uh, we've brought to them. Mm,麦克先生刚才说了一下大环境,然后并且田里面发生的事情,但是他说一个好的品牌一定是内外兼修的,他只要有好的内涵,同时呢他的外在又要比较吸引人,所以对于我们的品牌来说呢,他是 葡萄酒本身是非常健康和高品质，但同时它的外在也有很多的故事可以给大家分享。然后大家可以看到这张照片显示的一个酒标，其实在上面嗯既没有产区，然后也没有年份，然后也没有葡萄的品种，就是一个
那我怎么能够鉴别一一个酒庄的品质呢？然后还有通过另外一个方面，就是看他的一些拿过的奖项，还有现在市场上的一些活跃度。就比如像呃，应该在马来西亚这个 James Holiday 澳洲葡萄酒宝典也是大家比较重视的一个呃测评的方式。呃，同时呢，但有一个小的事情可以给大家提醒一下，就比如像呃一个酒庄呢，他会说我们是五星酒庄，或者是我们拿了很多奖，呃、我们得到了很高的分数，九十五分、九十七分。嗯、呃，这个时候你一定要去留意，他这个拿的这个五星酒庄是哪一年拿的，然后并且这个呃九十七分、九十五分的高分，它是哪一个年份的呃酒获得的，因为。有有的时候，消费者不太明白，然后客户也不太明白，这个酒庄他就会，比如像拿二零一零年的事情去说二零二零年的事，是这个东西一定，呃，要大家一定要跟进这个时间。所以说，比如像现在，你们就要看二零二零年的测评的结果。然后同时呢，除了 James Holiday 澳洲葡萄酒管管呃澳洲呃。葡萄酒宝典呢，还有其他的很多机制，还有这个测评专家。然后像 Malcolm 和 Richard 两兄弟呢，他们去年就获得了整个麦克勒拉伦谷的年度酒王的称号，就是通过一款酒，我们的曼山黑达沃拉获得的。那么这个是非常难得的至高荣誉，它是从七百八十八款酒里边，然后超过一百三十五家酒庄里面选出的唯一的一款酒。所以其实。呃，评分机制很多，大家可以在网上都能查到很多的资料。这个是在消费者，呃，没，呃，不能很好的判别酒品质，不能长久的时候做的最直观的一个，呃，测试。Okay, so they're the elements that we play with. Um, that's actually the fun part. So really, isn't it, Yan? In terms of Taking、um, something from nature and then、uh, making it and packaging it and presenting it in a really confident、um, and brave way too. So for us,、uh, the most important thing when we、uh, go to、uh, market is brand integrity. So we, we wish to work with、um, partners who who nurture that brand as much as we've taken care with it. In making it, we're looking for people that can、uh, then understand that the long term is the most important、mm. in terms of、uh, looking after brand. And by looking after it in a in a really high integrity way, it builds value over time.、Mm. So、uh, it gives back、mm. much more. I actually joined. Thank you, Mel. 我加入团队以来，我一直都觉得 Malcolm 先生是品牌意识非常强的一个人。他总跟我说，销售不是第一，而是品牌的长期发展是第一的。所以他是很有前瞻性，然后一直为未来的考虑。所以我们的品牌，他也很在乎谁是我们的合作伙伴，他一定要把产品交到能够 appreciate 这个东西的人的手上。所以说，我们非常期待和你们有进一步的交流。然后接下来呢，给大家放一个我们品牌的一个视频，呃，两分钟，大家可以从通过视频看一下我们是从哪里来的，我们的一个产区面貌。
哎 ，Jimmy， sorry， 你可以听到我们吗？啊，听到。哦、呃，看那个 video， 有可能你要 skip， 因为它的 bandwidth 的问题，我觉得已经停在那边了。对，它现在停了，但是我的电脑好像出了一些状况，它好像死机不会动了，除了我能听到你的声音之外。Um, I apologize for the uh, technical error. That、uh, there's some、uh, hiccup on Australia side.、Uh, they are trying to repair the moment、uh, as soon as possible.、Uh, again, apologize for the a bit of technical issue now.、Uh, Yen, is everything back to order? Yen. Okay. While we are waiting for Yen to join us back again shortly,、um, uh, if you have any question pertaining about、uh, this wine and the premium wine in Australia, you are feel free to post your question at end of the presentation uh, by uh, by Yen. Okay.、Uh, while we are waiting for that to pop, I do can accept some question first.、Uh, if any question, please do post it. Then I can direct it to Yen. Uh, on the winery part, if you have questions pertaining、uh, migration,、uh, I will try my utmost to to clear all the questions that you have.、Uh, okay, we have Yen coming back to join us. Okay.、Uh, okay. Hi, Yen. Hi, Jimmy. Sorry, my computer. Um, I think I have some problem issue on my laptop, so I just connect it via my phone. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. I really apologize. Okay. Uh, are you are you gonna continue your presentation, Yen? Uh,、oh. yeah, I think so. So、uh -huh. over that short video, we just、mm -hmm. showing where we come from, and、mm -hmm. you can tell McLaren Vale is actually a very Beautiful region and close to read a、uh, close to ocean as well as the hill. So、um, yeah, we just wanted to, I guess, wrap up that first、um, part of the premium、uh, brand、um, side of things, and then really what we wanted to then、uh, move into was talking about、um, the next part、uh, tactics. Okay, so, and we might have to share this a little bit later,、uh, Jimmy. But basically, what、um, we did was we did some、uh, market research、mm -hmm. um, on how Australian wine is going in the Malaysia market,、mm. and it's going very well.、Um, in fact, Australian wines,、uh, for the first time,、um, just、uh, entered the Malaysian market, so that. Um, Malaysia is now in the top ten、uh, for Australian wine exports, and the most important thing about that is that、um, it's at a high value level. So that's、uh, number ten in value, not volume. So、uh, that means that the wine that's been exported from Australia to Malaysia、um, is good premium、um, product. 嗯，呃，其实从二零一九年的这个 Wine Australia 澳洲葡萄酒管理局，它给了一个报表和数据上来看呢，呃，马来西亚呃已经成为前十大对于澳洲进口的国家。然后同时从另外一个就是从它的出口量还有这个出口价值的金额上来看呢，很很开心能够看到这个。它它的总量其实是在降低的这个百分比，但是其实它的那个价价值 value 它是在提高的，所以越来越多的呃人呢，他可能更会呃追求和销售更高品质的葡萄酒，也就是像我们现在所这个酒庄定位的一个嗯、呃、葡萄酒。So and then we、uh, in the presentation we were talking about、um, from a premium perspective、uh, price pointing. So、uh, not just from、um, the export value, but also、uh, premium pricing in market. So、uh, here in Australia, our wine is priced、uh, between thirty、uh, Australian dollars and a、uh, hundred Australian dollars, and 
the other important thing is that um, we focus largely on um, what we call the uh, Horeca market, which is uh, hotels, restaurants and cafes, which um, is important for us because we want um, the premium nature of the product being shared in small groups and um, also with food in a nice uh, relaxed environment. Okay, let's continue back with the presentation where we it was uh, some technical error. I think Yen, uh, we should bypass the the video, so we just can continue with your presentation. Sure. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I think the bandwidth cannot support. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 所以刚才给大家介绍了一下这个品牌的一个定位，另外一个方面是我们是怎么来管理，针对不同的市场来做一些调研，还有就是呃这边消费者他这个消费的一个趋势。然后我们要孔先生也刚才提及了，就就是品
呃杯子啊，或者是帽子。我们每年都举办上百场的活动，并且 Malcolm 和我，嗯、呃，每年基本上都差旅，嗯、呃，到亚洲大概有五次，只是今年情况比较特殊，全部都被取消了。但是我们很希望明年还有机会再来马来西亚，然后。同时呢，还有就是我们也和有很多精致的合作伙伴，其他的品牌也是，呃，非常认可的，认可我们的。还有就是我们也做一些教育，做一些大师班，还有一些讲座。And、partners are really important for us, and essentially they help define for us、uh, the premium、uh, nature of the product,、um, and also. Um, authenticity and credibility.、Mm -hmm. So,、uh, for example,、um, uh, with Kitson in、uh, Malaysia,、uh, we certainly get、uh, very good、uh, support and recommendation from our government here,、mm -hmm. uh, both at a national and at a state level.、Uh, McLaren Vale as an association, and also、um, Wine Australia.、Um, Just from the pure、uh, wine perspective as well, and that relates to quality and and also the heritage and family、um, nature of our business. 嗯，我们也有很多非常好的合作伙伴，这一点其实也能判别一个品牌是否优质。就像呃，我们得到很多的政府的支持，比如像南澳政府和澳大利亚政府，或者是呃澳澳洲葡萄酒管理局。还有澳洲贸易协会，还有麦克拉伦谷产区协会。同时，我们也非常非常的开心，能够成为 Kitson 的呃一个合作伙伴，然后在马来西亚做推广。其他呢，我在这个 PPT 上面展示了一些我们合作的酒店还有餐厅，大家可以看一下。嗯。呃、uh, ，The other important thing about being premium for me is. That、um, giving back to our community、um, and our society in、uh, charity ways is important、uh, too, because、uh, they support us, and we're always looking for a, a really nice loop in terms of what we do, not just from an agriculture perspective, but also、uh, from a community perspective. So we、uh, run nice little、uh, charity projects and fundraisers for our partners too. 嗯，作为一个好的品牌，其实我们得到很多客户和合作商的支持，但是同时我们要考虑回馈给社会，所以我们也经常举办一些慈善的项目，能够做一些嗯、呃、筹资来帮助大家。嗯。And finally, uh, really, uh, from a personal perspective, uh, being great at relationships is really important from from a premium. Uh, producer perspective,、uh, because what it does is that、uh, it really、um, brings together、um, everything that we do, and、uh, from a market perspective, we have to understand communication and culture.、Uh, we give great service,、um, and by doing that, we're、uh, introducing our team and、uh, our experience in what we do、uh, in a nice,、uh, natural way as well. And、uh, again, you know, that's、uh, really pleasing and、uh, really,、um, you know, heartwarming for us to be able to do that. 嗯嗯，其实从内部来说呢，就是我们的有个非常专业的一个团队，然后大家在各自的领域都。有自己的擅长之处，然后另外一方面呢，如果我们建立起了这个关系之后，我们会提供非常好的服务，还有这个交流沟通的，呃，跨国的一个交流沟通，对。Okay, so that completes the the premium brand part of our presentation, and、uh, hopefully you get a A good picture of、yeah. uh, certainly what we think a premium brand is. We're happy to、uh, get your feedback on that later as well, with questions or answers or anything direct. Now we just wanted to talk about uh, from uh, the Kitson relationship and and certainly from in, anyone interested、uh, from a migration、uh, point of view about I guess what South Australia uh, presents uh, from our perspective、yeah. and to try and give a feeling. About what it's like to、um, live and、uh, work here as well. So,、um, 
the opportunity quickly is what I just spoke about before is that uh, Australian wine in Malaysia from a value perspective is growing well. And you can also see on that slide that McLaren Vale is uh, in the top two uh, premium regions for Australian wine by value in Malaysia. So uh, it's a really good place to start your uh, wine journey. Mm. Uh, Uh,第二大精品产区, And this is a little snapshot of uh, life in South Australia. So I've lived here all my life. I'm very lucky to have uh, done so. Um, Adelaide's the capital city here in South Australia. It is one of the 10 great wine capitals of the world. Uh, we're really strongly focused on um, in international education as well as agriculture. Uh, we have a great uh, art and, and music and theatre scene here and certainly lots of festivals and events. So it's a really uh, a fun place to be friendly from a community perspective, beautiful nature and it's really healthy and lots of open space. Uh, transportation's good and there's not many uh, or not much traffic um, mm. to deal with. Mm. And if you like, you know, riding bikes or going fishing or playing golf, hunting, um, going out with the family, yeah, going out to into the woods, uh, you, you can do it all here. So, 嗯，其实澳大利亚可能大家会比较熟悉的，像一些大城市墨尔本、悉尼、布里斯班，但很少有人会听过南澳大利亚。但是事实上，南澳大利亚这个首府阿德莱德是非常非常适适宜人居住的
我到了这边就完全不想走了。我是二零一七年来了这边，就一住就住了三年，并且我也希望能够继续留在这里。然后另外一个就是自然环境非常好，空气非常非常清新。我觉得好多人想要移民到澳洲，也是希望能够追求，嗯。更好的生活条件，呃，也不能这么说，可能是，比如像在城市生活久了以后，到这边希望买非常大的房子，然后能够有花园，然后，呃，然后，呃，比如像周末可以出去做一些垂钓啊，去海边划划船呐、啊，或者去打打猎呀，所以。我觉得阿德莱德可以算是大家首选的一个地方。还有就是阿德莱德其实靠墨尔本很近，如果坐飞机的话，一个小时就到了。所以如果是周末想去那边 shopping 买点东西啊，也很方便。并且阿德莱德是国际机场，所以它对于马来西亚它是有通直航的，这边的时差也完全没有问题，就是一个半小时。所以说，呃，如果是亲戚朋友在国内。Yeah, I think you know more about South Australia than me.、Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so excited to talk about it, living here. Yeah, yeah, so nice. We're、yeah. very humble here. <laughs> okay, so that's、uh, where we are on the map. So in in South Australia and、um, Adelaide,、uh, very accessible city. And、um, a number of、uh, really beautiful regions、um, within、uh, a couple of hours' drive of Adelaide, and McLaren Vale is literally 45 minutes drive south of Adelaide.、Um, Adelaide Hills on one side, and then this beautiful coastline of the Fleurieu Peninsula on the other side. So、uh, we spend a lot of time outside in nature. 所以这两张地图，大家就可以看到一个澳大利亚的一个板块，然后这边是以州来分割的，用西澳州、然后北领地、昆士兰州、新南威尔士州、维州，还有南澳州。我们就是在南澳州。然后这个首府呢，阿德莱德，我也勾出来了，蓝色这条线就是这个城市阿德莱德。哦，我们刚才说，我们葡萄园这个产区呢，它是叫麦克拉伦谷。其实开车从阿德莱德就是四十五分钟就能到这个地方，也大家也能看得出来，这个麦克拉伦谷和阿德莱德它都是靠海非常近的，所以是一个依山傍海的一个风水宝地，所以非常漂亮。你们来了以后会觉得很开心的 ，Trust me <笑>。So he's just some.、Uh... Lovely photos of、mm. our landscape here. So beautiful, big trees,、um, open、uh, land, and and lots of grasses, and、um, and it, the climate's really really nice here too. So lots of blue sky and warm in warm in summer, and a, a little bit、uh, wet and、uh, really mild in winter. Hmm. Uh, Adelaide. Actually, it. 空气也很好，然后这个天气也很好。它夏天不是那么的潮湿，然后呃，冬天它也不是非常的冷。然后这一张，接下来几张照片就给大家展示一下我们这个农场，它其实是嗯、呃、非常自然的。然后每天早上如果去走走的话，你就觉得身心都被陶冶了。然后经常会在这个葡萄园看到一些袋鼠，然后他们也不怕人，反正都挺可爱的。Keep rolling. You, yeah, you, you're loving it. So. 对，这是这是我们的这个葡萄的展示，这是在转色期，就是在采摘之前差不多一个月、半个月的时候拍的，然后也是。澳澳大利亚有应该是全世界最古老的葡萄藤，就在这边的生活环境，你即便是拿手机随便拍都非常的漂亮。这就是一个蓝天，然后这个葡萄园，然后 Malcolm 先生又非常关注他的土壤。刚才说了，他非常的注重这个土壤的健康，每天像宝贝一样的去看。然后就是他的呃。一个家族就是 Malcolm 先生，然后这个是他的哥哥 Richard， 也就是两个呃李斯克农业集团的总裁。然后这个是 Malcolm 的儿子，大儿子叫 Abel， 每天早上他们就在这个葡萄园走走。
。然后呢，这边呢不光有葡萄园，它还有这个养牛的放牧场。所以说，他并不是把所有的土地都利用起来耕种葡萄，而是有很多的空间让其他的动物啊，然后人人去散散步啊，呃，更非常开阔，非常广袤，然后非常漂亮。然后像刚才 Malcolm 先生他提及了，今年我们成立了另外一个品牌叫 v e l m i c o 然后 v e l 呢就是 McLaren v e l 麦克拉伦谷的那个谷子。v e l m i c o 它主要是做黑安格斯牛的。然后 Malcolm 先生他们家族呢，也有非常多的高端的牛肉做出口，所以这个就是一个黑安格斯牛的展示。这个应呃，所有的牛肉呢都是草饲的，然后然后也是嗯、呃，在外面经常做运动，所以那个肉质非常非常的好，用切一块做那个 barbecue， 简直是很。很舒服，对。然后这是我们的一个品酒区间 s a l a d o r 嗯、呃，七天都开放，然后进来走走。像冬天，现在我们每天早上就把那个火升起来，自己要去砍木头。苗孔先生和他爸爸现在，呃，基本上一一周都要砍好几次，然后把那个木头塞到这个桌子下面，然后每天就拢火，是非常舒适的。然后大家有个后院，在外面喝喝酒、聊聊天，非常轻松惬意。然后我们还有一个后面有个披萨的烤箱，它也不是像城市里边电的那种，它是那种天然的瓦窑式的，所以烤出来的披萨非常的香，它具有那个碳的味道。然后我们基本上烤的也是这种小的披萨，就是能够在手上一人捧着一个披萨，右手拿着一杯酒，然后听听音乐，很舒服。另外一个就是像刚才说的麦克拉龙谷，它其实是靠海的一个产区，所以说平常可以下了班以后，或者是周末可以到海边走走。这个这边海呢，它的沙非常的细，所以所以大家可以在那个上面开车，呃，也可以在你看停下来，然后自己给自己倒一杯酒，来品尝。嗯、呃，这个生活是确实非常好。呃，这个是我们的另外一个品牌，它叫 O j a r v i 刚才 Malcolm 先生也介绍了，就是2016年成立的这个品牌。那现在也是澳洲五星酒庄。呃，接下来这个视频呢，呃 ，Jimmy， 我们要尝试播放吗？啊、uh, ，最好不要，我又怕等下又有啊。Uh... <笑> OK <笑>。呃、uh, ，我们其实有两个非常漂亮的这个视频展示产区的一个面貌，我到时候会传给 Jimmy， 然后 Jimmy 可以在 Facebook 上给大家分享。谢谢。嗯，然后现在呢，大家如果有什么问题呢，可以来问 Malcolm 先生。嗯。Well, thanks for listening, everyone too, and sorry about the little break there, but hopefully we got a clear message across about premium brand. Uh, who we are and where we're from, and and also, hopefully,、um, we've given you a little insight into our life here and how attractive that might be if you're interested in in migration. Thank you, you for、work. sharing. Thank you for sharing、uh, a lot of wine knowledge.、Um, okay,、uh, why we actually ha have this wine、uh, premium wine session is. One of the pathway for those who wish to migrate to Australia via the visa surplus one three two is to export a certain value of South Australia products, and、uh, some of our clients actually choose wine because South Australia are really famous and well known for their wine. So if you have this interest to、uh, migrate via this visa surplus one three two via wine export,、uh, you are always、uh, welcome to contact Malcolm or Yen. Uh, to understand more about、uh, how to actually acquire wine from them to export, not only to Malaysia to any part of the world. Now we open up the floor.、Uh, before that,、uh, this is the details for uh,、um, Malcolm uh, and、uh, Yen. So if you have any question how to acquire their wine,、uh, you can contact them via their email, also their Facebook page. Okay, now we open up the、uh, the floor for question. Uh, uh, I have a few questions here, but if we are unable to take your question by end of the session, we apologize for that.、Uh, we will get the respective person to contact you directly、uh, due to the time constraint. The first question、uh, is that: Is there a minimum order, Malcolm? If they were to 
import wine for I'm not sure uh, this gentleman or ladies is actually stay in Palm Beach I think it's uh, East Malaysia uh, Tidarut uh, if you want to import wine from uh, Australia your wine to specifically for I presume for some consumption is there a minimum quantity they need to order? Not really what we actually talk about is uh, when we start out with um a potential partner is we we like to start small mm. actually jimmy so so normally uh from an export perspective uh one pallet of wine is uh around 106 packs of wine so about 600 bottles and normally that's where most people start mm -hmm. um and uh what we do do is we make sure that um that's quite balanced so uh, we more talk about not ordering too much mm. than ordering a minimum amount. But that comes from a conversation uh, with the client about what they're using it for, mm. um, what style of wine they're looking for. And really, we want really nice, fresh wine mm. in market with our partners. So we don't want people to order too much. We don't want them to stress out mm. about having to um consume it too quickly or to sell it too cheaply yeah uh, currently do you have any business partner or associate in malaysia who are actually promoting your wine we have two uh one one is kitson thank you jimmy thank you uh, it's <laughs> uh, our uh, partner for migration uh, but we don't have any uh clients just yet it's a new part of our relationship and we do have a traditional uh, distributor in Malaysia and they're called Cave and Cellar. And they're uh, very well recognized and, uh, and a high quality, reputable uh, distributor. And we think that's important to have a distributor in the market. If you're a migration client, um, it's someone that you can talk to, um, it's someone that you can work with, and it's also good to see the brand out in the marketplace as well. Okay, uh, this is, I would ask uh, for, probably this is from me, for my future clients. Since you already have a, a partner here in Malaysia, Cave and Seller, mm. okay, assuming that uh, my client were to opt to export wine from Australia to Malaysia, would there be a conflict of interest with your existing distributor? We, we don't see so, Jimmy, because uh, normally uh, migration clients have a, have a different uh, need and a different use for wine. So uh, the clients that we work with normally have a business network or a personal network that they're sharing the wine through. And that's quite complementary, we find, to having a distributor in the marketplace who is focused on um, restaurants and hotels mm -hmm. and the traditional channel. So um, again, that's part of having the good conversation with the potential client and understanding uh, what they would like to have the wine for and making sure that we don't have um, any conflict because if we go back to the brand presentation, that brand integrity um, and uh, the really healthy uh, long-term uh, perspective for both partners is really important. Thanks for the update. Okay, uh, like one of my existing uh, migrants who actually uh, migrated to Adelaide a couple of years back, and he and his family actually opt for export. They started to export wines from Adelaide, I, if I'm not mistaken, about five years back. In fact, they are still in the wine, in wine business in Malaysia now. Mm. But uh, what they do was slightly different. They actually get the winemaker to produce a wine under their own branding. Do you, do you actually do that, Malcolm? We don't, personally, because if we go back to the, the premium part of the brand is that uh, we believe that uh, that's the best representation of what we do. But we do work... Uh, with uh, good friends and uh, close contacts who can do that. So normally people um, who want to have their own brand may be after some premium uh, branded product as well. So we, we, again, we see things working quite hand in hand and we're, 
we're uh, really good uh, with our contacts and uh, making sure that people get looked after and that it's quality wine as well that gets put under a known brand um, product. So it's all about promoting uh, good Australian wine. Okay, thanks. Uh, someone did ask me once, okay, if they were to acquire or acquire a winery or to venture into winery business like you, to acquire mm. a piece of land from scrap and then start to grow grapes for wine or buy over an existing winery, is it a very challenging task to do so in South Australia? It is. And... Um, we uh, do work uh, with people like that. And normally that comes from people who uh, start exporting wine first and then get a really good feel for um, the market that they might have. And then they get really interested in the process and particularly the value adding um, of wine. And uh, we can help manage uh, that uh, relationship, whether it's uh, looking at uh, the land or winery that's been purchased, uh, right through to uh, how that would be managed on an annual basis and what sort of product uh, they want made from it. But that's a very uh, uh, quite big discussion and a really important investment for people. So we make sure that we get excellent professional advice and management for them. Because I I do get questions from uh, clients from time to time that they say, hey, Jimmy, uh, if I were to retire in Australia, you mean we were a big board, so why don't I just invest into a winery? Mm. Then I get to drink my own wine and then get to make some money out of it. But to these oh. people, they are, most of them are not a, an industry player. So uh, in a natural course, they will need a management team or a consultant. So you do provide such services, uh, Malcolm? Uh, we do. And okay. It's really, it's really important because these uh, potential uh, partners are people that will be out um, firstly um, growing grapes or having land or product from our region. So we want our region to keep that premium nature. And we don't want people who are investing into our region and into our state to uh, have a poor um, outcome. So uh, we work hand in hand with people to make sure that if we can't do everything, we're certainly introducing people who can do so on a quality uh, level, but also um, from a, a good cost level as well. Oh, thank you. Uh, glad to hear that. So I will get them to actually contact you. Welcome for further advice. I, I believe that will be a much more longer and a serious discussion by acquiring a winery. As, as per today, uh, how many type or how many SKU of wine do you actually produce from your winery? It's a good question. I think 20. So uh, everything that uh, is wine in bottle for us is grown by us. And uh, we're very well known here for having a large uh, array of varieties for grapes. And we, we also have sent seven vineyards to choose from as well. Uh, so we've got a lot of range and uh, that, that also comes at different price and value um, and production levels as well. So uh, with our partners, we're very happy to share that. And we also update our stock on hand on a regular basis so they know um, how they can access the product and, and what's new and what's exciting as well. Okay. Sir. For someone who are new in the industry for wine export from South Australia, uh, for he or she would like to order, let's say, a pallet to start off, mm. will you actually provide the service that uh, from door-to-door uh, -door service or just straight out from your wine yet? Then the, the client would have to do the necessary logistic itself. Yeah, so uh, what, what we do for new clients is uh, we uh, recommend people um, whether it's a, a freight company that would be helping import the wine into Malaysia, we um, help prepare um, all of the export logistics to uh, Wine Australia and also um, the importing uh, company standards, in this case, uh, Malaysia. 
and uh, we pride ourselves on communication. Um, and Yan's role is also to help support that, but also provide uh, marketing uh, materials and support. So when the wine arrives, you've got a really attractive uh, portfolio uh, that you can talk to uh, your friends or potential clients about as well. So we, we manage pretty much a, an end-to-end -end process. We don't do every part of the process, but we introduce people and, and manage that all the way through. Mm, okay, thank you. Uh, this is a bit out of question. In your presentation, you did mention that you actually start to venture out from your wine business into premium beef, Black Angus to be specific. Yes. Uh, when, when, when are you targeting to start exporting this Black Angus or when it's available, if there's a clean, in, clean party? Because yeah. in, in, in the migration requirement, the applicants or the migrant will require to export product from South Australia, but mm. they do not specifically specify only limit to wine. Of it course. will also be premium beef. Mm. So if those parties who are interested, uh, this is out from the wine, I hope you don't mind, uh, because I do have some clients who are into the premium beef industry. If they were to be interested, would they be able to contact you to actually bring in the Black Angus to Malaysia? Absolutely. And we've been, we've been growing Black Angus for 25 years. Huh. Uh, this year, as Yen uh, mentioned um, up front in the presentation, we, we are uh, about to launch our own uh, meat brand mm. and uh, you know it's becoming a more and more important part of our business here mm. and it's very premium in nature as well so we're happy to talk to beef to people about beef as well uh, but no problems at all because Yense is really delicious when you barbecue it it is very <laughs> nice to eat they're lovely animals <laughs> they also taste do it as well, which makes it a bit hard. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for your time, Yan, uh, Malcolm. Um, Fred, this is all the time that we have today. For those who are not able to pick your question, uh, not to worry, anything related to wine and beef, I will get Yan and Malcolm to contact you directly. Anything you want to understand about migration, you can always contact Kitsons. Uh, thank you again. Uh, next week, we will have two sessions. The first session is a special session on Friday where we will have it with uh, KPMG, South Australia, uh, and also uh, Mr. Philip Defoni. He is the business manager for uh, Immigration South Australia. And uh, another session, this time on Saturday, same time. This time we'll talk about the living standard or the living cost, because it's always come to a question to us that, hey, Jimmy, I migrate to Australia. Mm. I mean, it's like what, three ringgit to a dollar? Wow, it must be really expensive to live in Australia. So now we actually get someone of our clients uh, who actually settled down in Australia uh, from student all the way to, to now a PR for them to share with you what is the cost and what is the lifestyle in Australia. Thank you very much. And thank you again, Malcolm and Yen. Okay, we'll see you. see you in Malaysia soon. I will fly there for the barbecue and the wine. Sounds good. Welcome to Adelaide. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Yeah.